this scenario statistical question was asked in flipkart data analytics interview so let's see what the question says so the question says if you are given a sorted array of size 7 but only four elements in it and a sorted array of three elements so how would you to combine the elements into the first array in such a way that array is sorted so let's see how we can uh, compute this task so to uh, solve this problem we need to create two array here so, to, so in the first array we will have only four value but the array set would be seven right and the other three value would be null right and as for the second array there will be total three value and there will be no not null right let's create this array first uh, create create table t1 t1 id that is integer and identity one one then we should mention this as the primary key uh primary key then add a comma then value that would be integer right add a semicolon and quickly create the second table that would be create table t2 id and integer identity would be one one primary primary key value value would be integer right let's see our table is created or not you can see our table has successfully created so now let me enter value quickly for that we will use insert command insert into t1 here you can see we use identity to one one we'll simply say that humko abhi bar bar id ke liye id ke liye value enter nahi karna padega theek hai ye automatically increase hote hote jayega theek hai so now we have to enter uh, our value only for value 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 values null let's copy this null so that we do not have to write it again and again control v control v add the value into t2 value values then write values 2 4 6 right so that's all let's execute it as you can see we have successfully entered our value into our array let's see how our table looks like now select star form you want so this is how our table looks like now you can see our id automatically has increased from one two three four five six seven right we, we need not to fill this value it has automatically filled the value right because we have here we have used identity on Sunday. So let's see how our second table looks like. Okay. Okay. Here we will write two. As you can see, this is how our array looks like. Because in the question it has said that the array size would be only three, right? And we will be having only three values. So now as you can see, our this is how our array looks like. Let's uh let's solve the problem first. So to solve the problem, we will use update command and under that. We will use different uh, sub queries also, right? Update T1, right? Set. Now we will not write any set criteria here because we have not completed our conditions. So we have to write our conditions first. From, we will write select command, here, select row number. Select row number over order by value arch as RN value, right? From from select value. From <clears throat> select value from uh, now we have to mention our array name that is first array. Sorry, that is T1, right? From T1, 
where value is value is not null union or select select value from t2 <clears throat> t2 right that's all now we have to provide uh, an alias here for the whole query that is uh, combined value right combined value combined value so we have written a query under a query right so as for the first query we have to give another alias that is, that would be only combined right so as we have given them combined so in the question what it is after we have to uh, assign our value from t2 to t1 right and sort them in a proper order right so we are writing all our query here and we will assign this query we'll assign this query to t1 right and for that we will use your join command so now what we'll do is we'll join the row number with the id in t1 for that we will write join command join t1 on t1 dot id is equal to combined dot row number sorry, rn right so now we will write our set condition t1 dot value is equal to combined dot value right so let's uh, execute this first as you can see, our code has successfully executed. So now let's retrieve our data and see what our result looks like. Like star from T1, right? Let's run this. As you can see, our value is all sorted, right? So this is how you can uh, solve this query that is asked in Flipkart. I hope you learned something new in this video. Please do subscribe my YouTube channel and thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.